Hey everyone, hey everyone. This is Earth Angel, Goddess Oracle, back with another reading for the collectives. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all my new subscribers, welcome. All right, so first thing first, you guys know, I am not a tarot reader, I am a prophetess. I use cards just to connect with you guys, just to connect with all of our energies for the collectives and the person. Over here is a self-love journey. We go through the growth through. We take those lessons to create blessings out of everything we go through. So I don't do personal readings. I don't answer personal questions. I focus on the things you guys need to know, not want to know. So if you guys want what I offer, it's called A Healer's Corner's Message. And that is a message from your spirit guides and your angels. Exactly what you need to hear. Not what you want to hear. So simply send me your name and date of birth. You can go on the community board to see how to receive a message from me. 1818 is a donation. Please follow the steps on the community board. Please allow 21 days for me to get back to you guys. All right, y'all. So y'all know I do not like pre-recording any freaking thing, okay? But my son got to go to the dentist. Yep, uh-huh. And I have been going too late. I've been going live too late with y'all. And that's just been fucking up with a lot of y'all seeing my shit. So I got to pre-record this just so I know that you guys are seeing it on time. Yeah, and yeah, so I don't know what time I'm going to be back, you know, yeah. So this is why we're here right now. Y'all know why I don't like this? Just don't. It feels weird. I need to see y'all. But I'm going to tap in. Y'all know how we do. And my moderators, I know they got me. You hear me? Make sure you keep it clean because now, because we're going, we're in like the retrograde, the karmics are starting to karmic badly. So please pay attention to the comment session, you guys, my, to my moderators, um, because I've been having to go in there a little bit more than usual <laughs> so just pay attention to anybody who got anything you know crazy say you know i only leave the comment section open because this 30 minutes or whatever time frame i give y'all people like they look forward to my amazing community where it's nothing but positive vibrations and you don't know who lives you changing by just speaking to them for a couple freaking minutes i refuse for anything negative to be in my motherfucking comment section period yeah i don't opinions yeah i can hear you uh, I hate the karmic saying opinions. It's my opinion. You, if your opinion is going to make anybody else feel uncomfortable, keep that shit at the fucking door. It's not welcome here. I mean that with every beam of my mother freaking soul. High vibrations the fuck only. I'm sorry. That's just what I give here. If it ain't nothing to uplift people or make people feel good, if you know what you about to say is negative, keep that somewhere else. You don't have to fucking be here. And I'm being real with you. Y'all know how I feel about that. So... But to my amazing subscribers, y'all know how we is. I love y'all. Um, To all my mother freaking members, y'all know how we give it up. I love you guys so much. If you guys want to be a member, the link is below. The join button is my page. I go live with just my members. I do members only lives. Um, I do extendants when need be. And you got access to any extendants, any members only lives, any cards of the day that I decide to do. Like, yeah. And emojis. Don't forget about the emojis. Y'all ain't been using the emojis. I actually added on y'all members. <laughs> Look at it. Y'all got your own emojis as well, too. All right, y'all. So, um, yeah, welcome. If you want to be a member, the link is below every video or there's a join button on my page. If you guys want me as your holistic life coach, um, www.serenelifealicia.com. That's S-E-R-E-N-E-L-I-F-E-A-L-I-C-I-A.com. You guys can actually sit with me in person if you're in New Jersey to have a holistic life coach session. You must know what that means. I'm not, I don't do personal readings on the regular, but I don't do readings. I am helping be a guide for you to help you heal, right? So y'all want that from me? One hour session in person in New Jersey or one hour session over the phone if you're in the United States, okay? Shoot me an email through that website, okay? All right, y'all. If y'all want my spiritual inner healing candles, they are all available for pre-sale. I am blessed. I am enough and I am healed, Okay, y'all, you guys can go on the community board. Um, or, of course, my Instagram. If y'all want to see them in everybody's freaking homes all around, in Alaska and Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, my candles is everywhere helping save lives, helping heal souls. So, if y'all want any one of my candles, go on my Instagram. You'll see for yourself. Um, it's Serene Naturals. It's S-E-R-E-N-E. N-A-T-U-R-A-L-S underscore. The link is in the bio. And just watch the live because my amazing moderator is going to post it up because I know how he do. Slim Jim, right? Shout out to Slim Jim. Shout out to my new moderator, Toy. Okay, and the mother freaking builds in. Shout out to all of y'all who holds it down. My, my baby, Jazz. I love all of my moderators. I love all of y'all. All right, y'all. So let me tap in, y'all, real quick because I don't have that much time. That's why I, had, I just want to make sure... I can go for a couple minutes, at least 20 minutes. All right, y'all. So, yeah. Look at this, y'all. <laughs> so, 
So you got a lot of people lusting over you. Mm. For some, there's somebody out of the bunch that you definitely had SEX with. I'm not saying you did that with everybody. I don't see that. I see people wanting to. People that's like been flirting with you. Somebody who could be younger than you. Or people that's be younger minded than you. That like is very flirtatious and stuff like that. They want to. They want to. So I just don't see that you guys... um. You not with everybody that wants you for sure, but I do see one person you have been passionate with. That's the person who you've been thinking about passionately too. You've been having some thoughts in your head mm -hmm, about this person. That's because this person's thinking about you. Just so you guys know, that's that's you guys been feeling a little like what the fuck? Why? Because that person's thinking about you. It's not you, okay? Yeah. So yeah, y'all been thinking about each other at the same time, but it's because of them. <laughs> it is. It is. But, um, yeah, so they're hearing, these people are seeing some pictures of you. That's what I heard. They're hearing some news about you. And it's turning them the fuck on. <laughs> it's turning them on, y'all. What the freak? The Page of Wands, who you definitely ain't, you, man, get out of here. They, your back is, you not with none of that. Your back is towards them. Your eyes is closed. You don't got a chance. They don't have a chance at all. But then look at the King of Cups, right? Your eyes is... You don't give a fuck that one is in front of your face. Your eyes is closed. Like, you ain't got a chance either. So, these people are blocked. And they're feeling left out of the cold. So, I feel like this particular, these flirtatious people, they're, they don't even have, like, a... Not even a slight chance. And then this particular person right here, <laughs> they out here, dying on the inside. That's probably the one you did have passion with. Because look at you. Look, you gone. They they don't even realize that as much as they sitting here ho trying to have control of their emotions and, and sulking, your ass is moving further and further away from them. Um, and that person's just feeling abandoned right now in their life. They're just sulking about their life right now. They got money issues. They got stability issues. I feel like something's going on with their home. They've lost a home. They no longer live with somebody or they don't have their own home. or like It's like their own key. They don't have that. This is somebody who's struggling. And they're just in this energy of depression right now. And they're soaking right now. They're in their emotions heavily over you and over their life right now. They feel like they lost the key to your life. The key access to you. Um, and all they can do is just been thinking about y'all moments that y'all shared with each other. Mm -hmm. That's why you guys could be thinking about them out of nowhere. So let's get up into this message. Spirit, please take this message. Only allow positive energy into this reading. Only allow what it is I call a palm, which is positive energy. Sing your spirit, guys, and angels to protect me. Allow me to see the things you want me to see and what God want me to see and know. Okay. So, um... People mad as fuck. Like, angry. Angry because they've been, like, hoping to connect with you hoping to partner up with you wishing to partner up with you for some of y'all y'all they a wish come true and they want to have a partnership somebody has a really strong connection with you um but i feel like this is like wishful thinking for a lot of them they've been hoping they're mad because they've been like hoping to like see you Hoping to come together with you. Hoping to see you in public. Like, hoping to break bread with you. Go drinking with you. Chill with you. Go to the park. Do some shit with you. Hoping and wishing to fucking see you. That's why they're fucking mad right now. Um, And they regret something. I don't know what they've done or what they said. They had, they're in some type of regret. Um, Because whatever they did or said, you got your... They got the asses cut off and left out in the cold. So, yeah. So, these people made some type of attempt. Clearly, we see that. Somebody who just took some type of risk. Some type of... And leap of faith. Just prematurely or immaturely you feel what i'm saying just went for it like said something they just spontaneous they just did something they shouldn't have done very immaturely okay um yeah so let's see uh people from your past look at them missing you look for even family too y'all that you hold them back from Oh, and you're committed to not taking action towards these people. <laughs> oh, wow. They're blocked. Mm, yeah, you, you don't see the point. You look at them as codependent. Um, yeah, so, like, this is, like, fair, Spirit is saying. This is fair. 
because they're not happy now. And look, all these sticks and stones, they try to they try to attack you. All of these people who have tried to send some type of attack towards you. And, and, and one of them could have hurt you a little bit, could have reached you a little bit. But for the most part, your ass is, is protected. They can't reach you. You're, vib you're vibing too high. They've been trying, but it's just one of them did make you feel like, uh, damn, like it hurt you a little bit, but it ain't get you off your off your game. You feel me? So they've been, they been trying to send some attacks your way. And now it's fair that these motherfuckers are sad right now. Because they can't reach you. Because you're protected. Look at them. They're not getting what they want from this situation. You guys have moved on. You've healed. You became abundant. Look at this. Looks like some money is coming your way. Big blessings. A lot of money is looking like you guys looking like you got money. Whether you got it or not, that's what they thinking. They feel like you got the family, the, 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 the children, or you don't got the keys. Like, like it's just one of them things where they feel like you got it all. Or y'all about to. Y'all about to have it everything. The money, the finances, the children, the blessings, the home. Look, look at this. Grounded. The wife, the husband. You about to have it all. And if they mad now, Spirit said it's going, they're going to be even more mad when this shit come, come through. Because you already look like you got what you want. But you 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 got everything you need. You're about to get what you want. And they're going to be extra mad, too. Mm. So let's see why Spirit got us reading about it. Yeah, because look at this. The mask is off. Look at the masses off. You see these people there. They, and they can't copy your energy. They can't copy your style. They can't copy who you are, what you stand for. They can't copy you. You The mask is off. You see clearly who these people are. And you focusing on loving you. And now they're threatened by your motherfucking energy. Right? Because you've been putting people in, in your place by not even dealing with them. Look at this. <laughs> keeping quiet. Keeping your business to your fucking self. Cleaning up the fucking... Your, your life... And all these people want your fucking attention that you said fuck you to. You got somebody who's new. Maybe you went out with somebody that was like passionate. Because I'm picking up like a passionate like attraction, possibly. So this person and then this person who felt like you wasn't going to go nowhere. <laughs> they watching you. <laughs> and, uh, they don't like what they see because they not a part of your fucking life. Clearly, look at this. Somebody could have went to the hospital recently, um, but I don't feel like that. I feel like somebody feels like they're panicking because they feel like you broke up with them. And then you're doing better without them. Mm. Oh, so just so you know, this person's going to try to make some attempt, attempt to get you back. But they got drama. So that's what you need to know. They're going to make some type of attempt, but they got a lot of fucking drama. So you need to stay away from that person who's going to try to make some type of attempt. So... Spirit, why do you have me reading about this for the collectives? Look, it's all about people watching you. Look, and they mad as fuck. Mad watching you. And it's a king of cups. Somebody who actually love you. And look at you, queen of swords. Mm, heartbroken. Yeah, so these people that's watching you, including this king of cups as well, too. And you, cut, you cut these old people off and they're heartbroken. This might be a child, too. That's mad about something. I don't know what that's about. Uh, um, codependent. They could be codependent on you or just codependent, period. They're codependent. They're stuck in life, I feel like. Oh, they're stuck on an ending with you, too. They can't get over this ending with you. Just so you guys know, if these are other people that got passion for you, they're not single. They're dealing with other people, too, for sure. They got money issues as well, too. Okay, for the ones who is not a lover, they have some money issues as well, too. And they need other people to succeed and to get through and other assets and, like, programs to help them. 
So they like, they can't stand on their own. They're not independent. And these people are now stuck on some type of ending when it comes to the Empress, which is you. Look all this money. Look at them. It's like they look at what you got versus what they got. They got one pinnacle, you got six. Okay? Look, haters. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, and they, these haters right here. You hear me? Motherfucking haters that you moved on from. They even in your head, in their head about you. Mm-hmm. Look, <laughs> they in their head because you're not talking to them. And you're not in your head about them. Mm. Yeah, this is like something that they don't want to be over. Like, I feel like they want to be built with you. But these are people just not committed to being your real friends or your real lover or your real sister. Like, being like what a sister is supposed to be like or a brother. They're not committed to being that with you. But what I can tell you is this, these people have is going through some things in their life right now. And money is an issue for them. They don't have any abundance. At all. Look at this. And they're feeling sorry for themselves about this. Um, and these are people right now that's going through some a point uh, a point of fears. Mm. They have hidden motives and agendas with you. They've been doing some sneaky shit behind your back, treating you unfair. For some, they gossiped about you. These are people that um, just didn't do right as far as decisions that they made against you. Look. And now everything now is changing. Mm-hmm. Now they now they in their fate right now. They created their fate. Because you no longer um dealing with any drama or competing with these people for nothing. Oof. These people are jealous. Um and this is somebody here that's uh very cold right now. Which is crazy how they cold to you when they didn't want to give you nothing serious. And they could have walked away from you. And held back from you. Oh, now they want to communicate to you. Now they want to talk to you. But because you didn't, they didn't invest into the connection with you, you took your love back because they betrayed you too many times. So I feel like you're done with them. This is like a real breakup for you. It's, it's over. And with this, yeah. And like I said, they've been coming out a lot as an emperor reverse. This is somebody who only care about themselves, bro. This is somebody who only cares about their feelings. They don't give a fuck. They don't, they're not looking at why you don't fuck with them. They're looking at how you're not fucking with them and how they can't control you. And they're looking at you like you're a piece of meat, like you belong to me type shit. They're angry about this because they feel like they ran out of options to be able to control you because they've been exposed with the sun card. <laughs> yep. Yeah. See? They're not protected, Spirit is saying. Ever since this cycle has closed out with you, you was the reason why this person wasn't going through no karma. But now because this cycle closed out with you, this person's not protected. Karma can attack them, right? And this is crazy. And so you've been keeping your distance in peace. So they're not protected, Spirit is saying. They're not protected. And so you guys are being protected from protecting your world. Yep, you in peace, you giving up on this connection. Look at them, mad as shit. Ready to come fucking chase you. But look at them. Coming in as, it's like, do I chase them or do I blame them for why my life is fucked up or why we not together? See what I'm saying? Because you not budging with the Queen of Pentacles. Your ass is standing on business. And look. And it's like, they because they didn't make any sacrifices. And look at family. Family, friends, people you grew up with, people that's not lovers of yours as well, too. You're no longer in your head about. And it's like a group of people as well, too. See what I'm saying? You got a group of people that tried to have a passionate beginning with you. Didn't I tell you about the people that... that okay. Remember I said there's some people you has you know what with. You know what I'm talking about. Okay. Those people been trying to come back to restart that little passion at the beginning from like the past, old people, okay? 
right? They're not happy because it's not working. They're not getting a wish. They can't get back in. They can't use you for sex anymore or try to come in for that lustful energy. Yeah, so you got a group of people that want to come back in for that. That's crazy. Look, a fake friends who was just manipulating the fuck out of you, trying to be you. Look, <laughs> trying to be you with the star, right? Play games. What? Oh, not them wanting revenge. Because <laughs> you the mother, you blessed. You the fucking star. You fucking blessed. And they want revenge. Look at this. Look at this. New love that you freed you. You got a new love person here. I told you it was a bit. Somebody you saw there's something new that with that you freed yourself. They still is confused as fuck. On how to get your attention. Okay. Because look, because you blocked them. Mm. And it's a third party. Wow, and I feel like I know who this third party is. Somebody in your community or somebody that you work with um, that was committed to being a snake. I feel like these people are blocked from putting you in third party situations. I feel like there's a community of people that's the same, that has the same beliefs, right? That just lied on your ass as well, too. Was sneaky, trying to steal from you, trying to take from you as well, too. And then there's this king of pentacles here who want to come back towards you. Somebody who could have been married or somebody who got their own business or somebody who is a father. Somebody who just only care about materialistic things who want to come towards you. But they've been holding back, right? So it's like now this person wants another opportunity with you to balance things out. Um, wanting to come apologize, but it's somebody who has not healed, okay? And they're confused as fuck right now on how the fuck you out here celebrating. <laughs> that's what they don't know it's like damn how i can't get over this and your ass is outside <laughs> so it's giving like they no longer in the net you're moving on from these wishy-washy fucking people these toxic people and they don't have a defense they can't even defend themselves to get back into your life yeah so yeah, that's one of those, that's that situation right there, y'all. That's what it's looking like for y'all. So, mm. so it's a lot of shit going on. So basically, these motherfuckers is just me right now. These are you mad. Mad about how things transpiring. Mad that they fucking blocked. What else I need to know, Spirit? Look, see what I'm... They can't drag you back into their bullshit. That's what it is. It won't happen. It's not going to work. The plans is that they can't. Can't do it. Sorry. They want to. They want you to drag you back into their fucked up ass life or lifestyle they got going on. And so they chaos, they drama, they can't do it. They can't, can't drag you back in it. Mm-hmm. Look. <laughs> and so look at these people right now. Feeling rejected. Feeling bored. You even got friends that's in love with you. You probably never know. People that you consider your friends, they've been thinking about you passionately too. Like, like for real. People that you felt was like my dog. Like, I don't even fuck with you like that. I never did. Never looked at you like that. They actually, um, they like you too. These are people that you close out cycles with. See? So you got somebody depressed. <sighs> And this is why this person's been, like, laying low right now. This is somebody who does want to stop you from moving forward. But they got you fucked up. Yep, because you done. You it, you just, you you taking it for what it is. You got this, it, it is what it is attitude right now. Look, directing energy. Trouble. Okay, that's, every, that's somebody else's shit. I don't want to get into that. All right, so let's see. Any warnings for the collectors? My son didn't even make it back from the, to, to go to the dentist on time yet. And I'm still going. I'm supposed to have been out the house by 315 to make it on time. So, you know, and this weather crazy. So, I could have went live with y'all. I'm mad as hell. <laughs> I could have went live with y'all. What the fuck? Mad as shit. All right, Spirit. Why do you have me reading about this for the collectors? I mean, no, not why you have me. What's, 
Is there any warning for the collectors? Which I don't think so. I think you got, they can't even get you back. They can't finesse you. Any warning spirit? I don't think there's nothing. Um, somebody's, something about time. I feel like somebody spent, they stressed out about the time. Too much time and all these bad choices they've made. And now somebody, ooh, trying to hide some of the shit. Y'all don't even know all they've been doing since they've been away from you. And they trying to hide that shit. They, they just know if you knew everything. This person possibly, they probably met somebody new and then gave them everything they should have gave you. And for some, they could have got somebody pregnant. And then, like, they could have treated them so good. They could have did things with them they never did with you before. They don't want you to find that out. Because it's like, if you find out all the stuff that they was on with this other person, what they was giving to this person that they never even tried to give to you, they know. Like, it's a guilty conscience. They know it'll be a fucking rap. They know. They know. Mm. Look at this person right now. I just feel like this person right now is feeling defensive. Because you're not checking up on them. It's like you're not worried about them. You're not checking up, seeing what they're doing. You're not worried about what they're doing. you actually good. Now, that's what it is. I mean, that's it. Private relationship. Didn't I tell you? Somebody, private relationship. Fake ass friends. Mad as shit. They was out here fucking around. All the sex. Look at this. It's drunk sex. Multiple partners. Now they got all this drama. When they thought they was going to have a new beginning with you. Even after doing all of this shit. After, even after copying you. And trying to do what you do. And trying to be like you. And trying to replace you. Look. The contract is broken. Spirit is tossing this shit out. And now look. Because of all their addictions. They just would not let go of their addictions. And now they want to talk to you about their issues. Mm. And um, there's haters. Remember I told you I had haters? Mm-mm-mm. You even had haters that you fucking dated for some of y'all. They hating on how you live and how your body is, how you, how healthy you are, how you keeping yourself, what gym you fucking go to. Did these, you got haters hating on all of your shit. Mm-mm-mm. Somebody investigating a pregnancy. Didn't I tell you somebody could possibly? They got drama trying to figure out if that's their kid or not. A lot of shit going on. Somebody gonna be finding out about a um a pregnancy. Some of y'all might be. Child, a lot of shit going on. Let me give y'all one of these oracles to close out, y'all. I ain't taking that boy to the damn dentist. At this point, the weather's so bad, he, he ain't even here yet. Bro, we ain't gonna make it on time. I'm gonna have to call the dentist like, listen, y'all gonna have to reschedule me again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. And then I'm mad because I could have went live with y'all, but it's all good. Maybe spirit, this, this, everything happened as it is. Spirit, we want me to rest and I don't know how to do it. So maybe it's like, okay, you got more shit you got to do. You had clients this morning. You, you went to Pilates. I even made it to the supermarket. Ask me how I did all of this shit. Like, I just be back to back. Like, I'm, I'll be moving. And then I went live with y'all. I get up early. I start my mornings fucking real early. Like, I get up like four, four o'clock. Clients start at what? First client is at nine o'clock. Well, after I do my live. Right after. So let me get y'all Oracle to close out, Spirit. Oh. Y'all manifesting. Look at this shit. Look at y'all life. Look, make a wish, believe in miracles, magic surrounds you. And this energy right now, we're in a retrograde. This is not a regular retrograde. This is a retrograde that you guys can like seek, put out the good the intentions and you can create everything right now. Your energy is so potent right now. Anything that you think, so be careful. You think about this person too much and that person gonna fucking call your phone that does not even be in your life. It's so much potent manifestation energy that you have surrounding you right now. You need to be careful. You just need to be careful. Look at it. Mm. Whoever this is not taking action towards you. You know what? It's like they telling you not to take action towards someone or something. 
This is somebody who's living in, they're living in, this, whoever says that's living in their own fairy tale land, they're living in a land of imagination. This is, whatever they created, whatever they think they're doing, the life that they created for themselves is not real. Like, whatever they thought, whoever they thought they was, <laughs> the person who wasn't taking action towards you, they was living in a fantasy fucking world. And this is why there's nothing growing for them. Mm -mm -mm. They need to heal. They need to heal because this is somebody who is repeating cycles. All right, y'all, as you guys are manifesting. So that's what I got for y'all. I love you guys so much. And I feel like all of these people live in their own fantasy world. They be having shit fucked up until it, it hits the fan. All right, y'all, but keep manifesting. Remember, if you guys want me as your holistic life coach and you want to actually sit with me for an hour, if you're in New Jersey, you can um, just shoot me an email through the website. It should be going through. I can't pin, I can't pin it because I'm not, you know, live, but the website is on the community board. It's www.serenelifealicia.com, S-E-R-E-N-E. L-I-F-E-A-L-I-C-I-A.com in person or over the phone for one hour. Holistic life coach session. And me as a holistic coach, I'm here to be a guide for you. It's no readings. I don't do that on a regular. I'm here to help you bring open Pandora's box. Whatever wounds you got, we got to let that shit out. And we got to, so I can help you replace that with the things you, you're supposed to be on this earth doing. Help you seek and find who the fuck you are. I'm helping you do that because you got it within you to do it. I'm just a guide. That's it. And I'm going to give you spiritual tools to help that, to help you regain your balance, to help you learn who the fuck you are and never take nothing less than what you deserve. Okay? So that's what I'm here to help you guys do. And you can vent and tell me anything. And it's only between us. You understand what I'm saying? So I love you guys so much. If you guys want me as your holistic life coach, don't forget to send me a message through my email. I'm uh, not my email, uh, my website, because it's it has nothing to do with this platform, just so you guys know. That is completely separate. So you have to send me an email through my website, okay, y'all? I love you guys so much, y'all. Talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.